Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 35 of our Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod where we're playing as Dianor Targaryen. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we finished uh, Conquest of uh, Bravos. Uh, Bravos actually was one of the few countries that actually have not surrendered right away and we had to apply some troops in there, but it still was relatively not hard. So, yeah. Let's go and just what we have left in here. Coral Norvos Lord is already ours. South is already ours. So it looks like all of the three cities are already under our control. There's still a couple of pirates in here, a couple of these things in here. So that's what we need to do so today. Your wisdom, blah blah blah. You want to replace Sir Margus as the Master of Arms? Nope, I'm not gonna support you. In this stupid plot. Uh, also, talking about plots, we need to probably replace some of our people in here. And you should be like skimming in the capital. Uh, Septon. <laughs> you are really freaking awful. Also, one of the interesting things I found out, first of all, let's go and try to improve relations with someone. Oh, Bravos apparently now is the most powerful guy in here. But that's probably because Lannisters not been considered as our vassals yet. But still, improving relations with Bravos not gonna be a terrible idea, right? So you're gonna do this. And this guy gonna be our sin province in my capital. Yeah, one of the interesting things I found out is the Lannister King, Lord Paramount Ford of the Westerlands, is now drowned god religion. I have no idea how the heck that's happened, but that's interesting. So now all of this sync is slowly being converted to the Drowned God religion, which is kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, let's just unpause and see what we need to do in here. Let's let them all get back under our control. Good news, my lord, we have received reports of Great White Stack. Awesome. I'm 60, but I'm still fine with... Hunting. I'm sure no hunting accident gonna happen. And I'm not gonna die like one of the previous skins. The war has ended, now the wardens shall resume their positions. Yeah, they should. Uh, what the heck is that? Norvos Peasant Revolt. Oh, Norvos, you have a pretty freaking huge revolt in here, I think. I should probably help you with that, right? Oh, I can't really raise too many troops in there, unfortunately. That's probably because all of these vassals hate me. So how much do we have in here? 14,000. Uh, I think I could use some more. Okay, 1,500 more, probably gonna do it. Because I don't think Nor was going to be able to handle it themselves, so I'm going to go and see what we could do. Okay, you could go in here as well. Uh, I have discovered a plot. <laughs> I have discovered a plot where someone's seeking to kill Ark Archon uh, the Third or Mirin. I don't care which Archon going to be sitting in the Mirin. They're pretty much the same, anyways. Oh, what's happening with you? Defending against Fate of the Seven Uprising? Oh yeah, that's to be expected. And summon Peasant Revolt. And summons War for Westerlands. And summons Claim from the Rich. Are you probably gonna crush your armies, right? I think so. And yeah, we're going for the Great White Stack. This time he's not gonna escape. My grand... granddaughter, who is a bastard apparently, requires education. But you are huge, attractive and ambitious. Mm, but you're from the different family, so... I'm not gonna spend money on you, I'm sorry. You are not worth it. You don't have any chances to succeed in in here, so what's the purpose? Spent weeks in the wilderness, searching for any trace of prey, but you're failing. 
Окей, он стоит не простишь. А то... Ты можешь его проблем? Моя дочь хочет быть diligent и get one of the trades. Apparently trick. Sounds great. Uh, I'm actually not entirely sure what would happen with Norvas if the peasants were to... were to enforce their demands. I think something like uh, lower taxation or, or... probably, I don't know. Yeah, discard the plot. Oh, you want to be ransomed for 75 gold. Or at least uh, you want to ransom one of your children, I assume. Okay, I have one more in here for 10. Mm. Most of the, coin, of the coin is dead. Archon of Mirin? Yeah, sounds fine. It's probably gonna improve his relations with me a little bit. Our Lord of Rising. And my grandson. Who is Targaryen, but he his leash is... Oh! So, apparently, this girl became uh, the queen of the Riverlands, somehow. Even so, when I've been marrying her, she was just a courtier, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's fine, so... My grandson is now heir to the Riverlands. And also, he's actually... So, in a uh, like, couple of generations, I'm gonna inherit Riverlands. That sounds fine. Yeah, you should be kind, if it's possible. It is the lore uprising, and they are moving in the way of this army. Okay, let's try to avoid them, if possible. Someone, something like around here. Oh, are you a sultan, or could you please stop? Bother on me, another Raven Mob of Roller Infidels. Cool. Why are they Raven? Is their King not Roller? He is Roller, so... I don't know. And now they're going for me, right? Uh, okay, let's go and install all the dragons in here. And let's hope that it's gonna be enough uh, to defend. Now, where's our third dragon? Why is he not available? Mm, I don't know. Okay. No dragon on this flank, then. You want to be legitimized. Uh, okay. Sounds great. Okay, 3,000 on, 3, on 7,000. It's dragons. Uh, I have a feeling that we're gonna lose. Yeah, you could be released. Yeah, the flank with dragon definitely losing like crazy, and yeah, there goes the middle flank. God damn it. Okay, let's go and stand down this army. And just use the 6,000. Okay, I'm in the middle. Oh, mm, where is the... Uh... Oh, is my daughter got a scar? Yeah, she does have a scar. You look badass, and you do, do not have any husband. It's probably not right. Let's go with matrilineal, matrilineal marriage, if possible. Uh, don't really matters who you're gonna marry. Lord of the rich. Yeah, the rich man. Sounds great. Also have a chance to... Uh, to become... Uh, as the king of the rich at some point. Your vassal lord Boris has caught grayscale. Oh! Yeah, stay away from me, please. It seems the maiden does not favor him. Please try to not to cause this disease to anyone from my side. Oh, you want me to join your rich man war for someone's claim on something? Yeah, I'm gonna join it, but not gonna help you anyways. Uh, so... 16,000 army. Okay, let's get this dragon in here. And I remember that our son should have a dragon as well, but why is he not available to lead? Because he's a marshal. 
of some place, you bastard. Any other flankers we have in here? Uh, we do. Okay, you're gonna be the flanker then. Well, let's go and actually, first of all, deal with this Relor uprising. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already gave this royal privilege to the kingdom of Lias Dotrock. I guess I'm gonna do it again. Not particularly sure what it is actually, what it actually does, but... Mm. Okay, yeah, let's go deal with the roller uprising, then we're gonna come back here, because I think this one uprising is a little bit uh, more scary than the others. You want to arrange marriage with some Corsair and some Tristan Martel. Huh. Okay. I would actually prefer for my daughters to be... Uh, to be married like someone from the Dorn, if possible, but oh well. Uh, your daughter in law Mary, as a member of the royal family, should be protected. Mm, okay, let's go find you something. Or someone 11 and 5. 11 and 5. And 8. Let's get Sir Harlem. Should be great in protection. Also, we could pick up, pick up an ambition. Let's get this. And a couple children need education. This bastard. Uh, I could send you to some of my vassals. Because they're not gonna hate me that much. Archon of Bravos. Plus 20 opinion. Sounds great. He could become Bravosy, but doesn't really matter. Because she's a bastard. And this one. Is another one of my daughters? Could I educate you myself? No, I do not have any space. Okay, I'm gonna give you to my son then. Yeah, sounds great. We have unlanded sons. Mm, that's fine, you're my heir, so you shouldn't be too upset about this. I could usurp cast of Havash Lake with... Lake there. No. Why would I do this? Couple to your claims, and the rest doesn't matter. Okay. Mm. My daughter, you need to be kind, not envious. Now my guidance is my young grandson. Viserys is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Great. Okay, could this guy stop like a souls and everything? How the heck? Uh, they could assault this with only 10,000 troops. How much freaking defenses these guys have? Yeah, we lost another one, High Septon. The Guild of Sorrowful Man has been successful these past few years. Uh, as a consequence, tax is due to a king of the Iron Throne. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I'm just getting taxes from some assassins. I don't know that they are working for us. Uh, okay. So how's the revolt in Norvos doing? Also, reach just won their claim on some place. I am happy. My daughter. Yeah, you should definitely be a liberator. Sounds like a great trade. Okay, could you please stop running away from me? After years of careful planning, Sylvia Attila is trying to press her claim on what? Strong claim on the High Lordship of Samarinia. Oh. Okay, this is not controlled by us still. Or yet, so... I'm gonna be fine with it. Should probably not gonna be become our vassal. Maybe you would. I'm not particularly sure. Oh! There goes our colony. Finally, we're receiving at least one event from it. Uh, grave news, the colony in the summer was struggling to feed its people, so land is insufficient to bear enough food for all the conditions, blah blah blah, so... Oh, I could... I'm gonna get famine anyways, but in one... One thing I could get, oh, I could lose gold, or 50% chance to lose this thing. Okay, I have plenty of gold. 
Okay, we finally caught this bastard. And we're receiving more peasant revolts of our own. Unfortunately. Mm, I don't like that their army not dying as quickly. Sir Dairon? Oh, who the heck are you? Oh, you're the, uh, you're the father of my granddaughter bastard. And you want to become designated heir for the Iron Throne. Huh? No? What are you even thinking? You're not that important. Mm, okay. Oh, we're losing some sieges to these peasants. Could I rest any troops anywhere around here? That's not enough. God damn it. Okay. These two provinces, I remember, have the most levy, looks like. So, let's go and get you together, and then you're gonna fight here. And we're gonna finish off the stupid Lora prison. And someone just got imprisoned. Let's go and assault back the holdings. Okay, with the 1700s. Actually, never mind. I'm gonna take them as well, and then we're gonna head towards the Norvas. Also, we are above our vassal limit again. What just happened? Who just became my vassal again? Who is rebelling against their leech? You idiots. <coughs> you are... Yeah, you are taking Lord Promote to the north and summons claim on the north. And you just became my vassal. And you do the same. And that's probably why it happened. Because I were 40 out of 40 and I'm 40, 42 out of 40. You want to back some plot? No. I'm not being the part of the plot. Oh, god damn it. I also have a problem in here. Uh, I need at least one dragon in there. So, let's go and... Oh, I can't install myself right now because I'm in the middle of the battle. There is a lore, a lore's conquer or a lore's uprising. Now, let's go and get myself in here. Wait for the morale to replenish a little bit. What is that? The Frozen Shore Wildlands Revolt. Yeah. Wildlands, you're not... you're not belonging here. The space beyond the wall is mine. I don't care about White Walkers or others or anyone. Mm. Oh, apparently we somehow got the other flank, even though we had none when I looked last time. <laughs> Could we assault with such odds? Uh, we cannot assault because we are not the leader of the siege. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna follow the army then. We could create High Lordship of Summerfield. Okay. Mm now we're gonna do this. And we received nothing. We received no freaking war score for this battle. Because my stupid vassal been actually leading the combat. War knowledge. Sounds great. You want to be legitimized. Uh, you're the inspiring leader. A bit awful at combat. Mm, no. It doesn't look appealing, really. Uh, the relations between our house and the car quetas of the 13th have been tense for a long while. When I did a slight on uh, our owners that they have been brought, our kinsman of Prince Nawata's court owner has reportedly strayed into my lands. So I could imprison him. And get my opinions down. Oh no. Let's not do this. Oh. I I forgot to look. 
Oh, what is this gonna be actually? Warden of the East and Whale. Yeah, Whale sounds great. As the Warden in the East. Let's go and research this thing. And actually, it is already time for me to have a break, guys. So I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna continue in the next episode. Unfortunately, we did not conquer anything this episode, but we've been dealing with some uprisings, so it's not too bad as well. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer you as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye bye.